Hello friends, good evening and welcome to another session of Tech Tablet Daily Dose with Varun Rao. In today's session, we would be looking at how to create an XML view and a controller basically in an application for an SAP UI5 uh, project, right? So the aim of the session would be to understand this simple thing. So, and this would be done using an XML view I repeat. All right, so the first step first, I hope you have all installed uh, Eclipse in your system followed by uh, the development tools that is the SAP UI5 development uh, tools that is required for you to build your application upon right because this is a prerequisite so now once this is done uh, we would now be creating a project and this is how we would be doing it so you have this button you click on this right or you can directly click on this as well and here you have in the select wizard you can select this sap ui5 application development right so here we would be selecting this application project hitting next by default it is much better that you use sap m libraries rather than the sap ui commons and here you give it a project name and we can name the project my application so i would be naming it my application right and i am selecting this create an initial view and hitting the next button and as we've already discussed the view would be in xml format so uh, i give my view in xml and now i have to give it a name so i name it as page zero right and i hit on finish so here my application is built so what I would be doing is let us first run this application and then do the discussion part so that we are able to save some time. I'll just open this page. Yeah. Now this index.html that you are able to see, this is the base file, right? And this is where the bootstrap happens. This the first script part and in the second script part you have the application details so let us just understand this the first part here is the bootstrap for which you have your default libraries like javascript resources you know all these are loaded here followed by the theme and your sap ui libraries as well which is sap.m and here you have the sap ui local resources that is my application followed by instance for an application created that is new sap.m.app and if it is a split app it would be sap.m.split app followed by instance for a page right and then we have the place at content part right so here we have a default view which is page 0.view.xml and with it a page 0.controller.js created automatically so View.xml is used for us to build the view or to design a page as per our requirement and controller.js is to enable or is to give life to the view like if you have a button you give an action to it. So in today's session let us just understand how we connect a view and a controller of one single page in one whole application right. So let's begin. Initially, I would definitely like to change the title of my page from title to my application, right? And in this instance, right now, I would be starting to code what I want in this content area, which is inside the page, right? So I would be taking a button here. right so i have a button and i close it now so inside a button what i would be doing is i would be taking various properties like a text now text is a property of a button right so now this would ensure that i have something written on the button now after text i would also be using a press functionality to it right and I would be giving this press functionality a name. So this is what I'm basically doing. I'm just taking a page inside which there's content and here there's a button. I have closed the button here and I have used only 
two properties to keep it as simple and as short as possible for us to understand so this is the part so here i would be taking the text now before we take the text let us just save this application and see what the output looks like so this is the index part and i would copy this right and i would open a browser my google chrome and i would paste it here and see what the output looks like so currently this is the output and this is the title my application that we have renamed and here's the button but there's nothing happening and there's nothing visible on it right so now you would understand how those properties would make a difference so now i'm going back to my application inside the page 0.view.xml and now i give this button a name and this would be hello world right and i would be giving it a press functionality also that is on press or on click so i would be naming it on press so now what happens is every time you click on this button this on press functionality gets triggered and this on press functionality hits the controller part which is the controller.js right but let us just save this and let us again go back to the output refresh the page and see what happens right so here we have the button with the text hello world on it right so here we have the button with the text hello world on it next what we would be doing is now we would be enabling the controller so i am going to this controller part and in this controller dot js what i would be doing is i would be giving an on press functionality to the button that i have just created so i begin it here and let us just see what i have named it i have named this on press so i would be giving the same name here as well so let me just copy paste this copied and here it is on press right so now what i would be doing is i would be taking a function for this event right so i have a function now in this function i would be defining an event right and then i would now here define the functionality that i am looking for so it would be an alert functionality that whenever i press on the button i want a pop up to be displayed or maybe you know a message to be displayed that is my first application is done or created maybe right and then i would be closing this with you know this is how you finish your functionality so now we have an event here created in sap ui5 xml view for on press and then i have a page 0 controller.js created for the same so now i would be saving this and let us now see what happens in the output so here i go and refresh the page refresh it right and i press on hello world and here it is my first application is created right so i hope you have all understood how we do this my dear friends so the first step is you create an application then you create or you select the required paradigm that you want to work in if it is xml or if it is html or javascript or json after this you create a view with a simple button functionality or you know maybe a button tag and you give it a text with for a name and you give it a press for the functionality to happen after this you go to the page 0 controller 
right and then in the page zero controller you go and you press on the on press functionality and here in the controller you give the same thing which is an alert application or sorry my uh, an alert functionality stating my first application is created so i hope you have all understood this and you can try using different tags and you know different functionalities inside this content area at least on an initial level if you are if you want to create an application right so keep coding keep growing have a great day ahead